Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Studio Calico time. Ditch your to-do list, it's time to play. So this is my latest uh, subscription kit from Studio Calico. And I think this is the April um, kit. So let's take a look inside. As always, it comes in the uh, super cute uh, pouch. I think I have three of these now. So uh, February, March, and now April. Yeah, that's my list. So I'll grab the Traveler's Notebook first. So I subscribe to the Studio Calico Traveler's Notebook uh, subscription kit. So every month we get some Traveler's Notebook goodies. So let's just, uh, actually we'll stay here for the moment. Okay, so we have this Traveler's Notebook insert with um, this uh, asterisk kind of um, cover and inside all day, every day, a grid paper on one side, patterned on the other. Uh, so we have the days of the week there. We have some oranges. Oh, I like this um, uh, Instax camera. Uh, the front cover again. Oh, a, a map. I really like that. That's cool. Go make today super magical. I'm loving the font. So this kind of has like a retro kind of vibe happening. Oh, this is a cool spread. Smiley faces and then like a star rating and some lined pages here. I made an effort. Real adult. Three stars. Uh, nice little watercolor, like a canvas kind of look. Uh, rainbow stripes. And the stripes have little dots in them if you can see there. Ups and downs, that's a nice prompt page. Small victories, a little picnic basket there with some ants, <laughs> very cute. We have a now and then with some coloured lines, <laughs> the bananas. We have a today in a heart. Things are what you make of them. Um, my dad always says life is what you make it, which I think is a similar sentiment. Oh, X's and O's. Um, a nice little yellow grid with this happened and the days of the week across the bottom. Some hot air balloons and it looks like a kind of uh, rumpled paper background. And then like a little library card style thing as well. So that's the TN. I really want to get started with mine. Um, so I'm sure you saw in there this kind of retro vibe um, pattern that is on the washi tape. So I'll just open this up and show you what that looks like on a washi tape. I quite like the Studio Calico washi tapes because they are they're paper tape um, and they're a bit wider than usual. So there you go, you can see this kind of cool 70s vibe looking um, colour scheme and the waves, I think that's pretty cool. Very nice. And now we move into all the little bits and pieces. So I'll start at the bottom of this pile, the biggest stuff first. First up are some alphas. I recently used the pink alphas from a previous uh, subscription kit for my little pocket um, field notes. So these are lime green, four sheets all the same and they're really thin, hopefully you can see there, they're a really thin alpha so it gives quite a cool effect. If I just pull this E out here, you can see it's a very thin alpha. I really like them, I think they're awesome. Okay, then we have some little black labels, so you could use your uh, jelly roll to write on these, or a Posca paint pen. Okay, so they're quite a thin label, so they won't take up too much uh, thickness in your planner. Okay, next up are the stamps. I always find the stamps to be quite fun. So, they often have good phrases. I like the way they're packaged. Like, all in all, I think they're pretty cool. Okay, so they all come with this little pouch to put them in. 
Okay, so it has uh, documented, simply the best, capturing the moment, good stuff, off the record, noted, loving this, yes please, today's highlights, gratitude currently, right now, details, remember, on repeat, two asterisks, this kind of cool, um, well look, it could be lines on a book, on a traveller's notebook, it could be uh, a map, which I think it probably is, and then it does have this swatch of colour, like a little um, flag, uh, for you to be able to layer these over if you want to, like a highlight strip underneath. So I think that is super cool and I always like to put them inside the pouch when I get them as well. So that's the stamp set. Two more things left. First up are these acetate asterisks. Now I might not take all of these out. Um, and I think this is one packaging that I will keep. <laughs> okay, so yeah, these are simply as advertised, acetate um, asterisks, all sorts of sizes, all sorts of colors. Well, I think it's three sizes. And we've got coral, pale blue, dark blue, yellow, orange, red, this pale, pale, greeny gray and then these two greens as well although this one is a very green gray oh and pink two pink ones cool so i'm never quite sure how i'm going to use the acetates i mean i know you can just layer them over stuff or under stuff in spreads but i don't know i never quite uh, get around to using them so i might um try to make an effort to do that uh, in a spread soon. Also I think these are quite big, like they're quite big asterisks so it would have to be a situation where I was layer layering them under other things I think in order for me to use them properly. Okay then last but not least I think these might be little die cuts. So I might zoom us in to show us these. We have a little flower, like a label, be kind, it's quite a cute shape. This little rainbow one, some X's and O's, up and downs, no one is you and that is your superpower. I quite like this little kind of band-aid shape, it's very cute, trust the timing of your life. Love the little rainbows, of course. Oh, and it looks like we have double ups. Okay, cool. So two of everything. Let's see if that's all of them. Okay, so there we go. They're double ups. So we get two of each, a uh, little die cut. Nice, cute little colors, great shapes. That's cool, I like that pack. Very nice, I could certainly see me using some of those. Especially these little band-aid shapes. I like those a lot. So that's my little collection of goodies from Studio Calico. I like how they kind of give you something a bit different each time. Um, I love that we're getting all of these alphas in different colours. I've got pink, white and green now um, because I really quite enjoyed using the pink ones in my coffee journal. I thought they were very cool. Uh, yeah, I haven't found a use for these labels yet but I'm sure I will and I just love that it all comes contained in this little pouch. Like that just makes things so much easier. They just stack up on my Rascog cart and they're there ready for me to use whenever I need to. The stamps are awesome. Like everything is very, very cool. All right, that's it from me. Just a quick one today to show you what came in the April sub box of Studio Calico. The May one should be here shortly. I almost didn't get it because I thought I've got so many and I haven't started yet, but I kind of have decided I might just get a year's worth or at least until December and then I've got like a nice little collection of things. Plus May is Mother's Day so I'm really hoping there's florals. I should know by now but I haven't seen the video um, with the release and I haven't gone to have a look. So I don't know whether to go look or just to be surprised, like wait and be surprised because I do love a surprise. But I have a feeling since it's May and Mother's Day there might be florals. Let's wait and see. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think and I'll see you all again super, super soon. Bye.